Hello friends, I am Dr. Prashant Sharma and you are watching Medicos Hub. This is my third lecture on nerve injury and I am going to discuss the Seddon's classification of nerve injury. According to Seddon's classification of nerve injury, there are basically three class of injuries. Class 1 is known as Neuropraxia. Praxia means to continue. Then class 2 that is axonaut masses the masses means to separate and class 3 is neurot masses now The continuity, we are comparing these, continuity of exon and its myelin sheath. Yes, no, no. Next is preservation of. covering connected tissue framework which involve endomycium, perimycium and epimycium no, uh, yes, yes, no so what is neuropraxia? neuropraxia is basically temporary discontinuation of conduction without loss of continuity of exon and myelin sheath or width conservation of myelin sheath and connected tissue framework now what is exonaut masses it is Relative loss of continuity of exon and its myelin sheath with conserving or conservation of connected tissue framework. So this is exonaut masses. Now neurotonal masses is partial or complete loss of exonal continuity along with disruption of myelin sheath and connected tissue framework if we discuss the severity then it is mildest it is moderate it is moderately severe it is most severe condition If I discuss the valerian degeneration in the distal part then no valerian degeneration will occur because the uh, axonal continuity is maintained 
in both of these cases valerian degeneration will occur what about the conduction in proximal segment distal segment and between proximal and distal segment conduction will continue between proximal segment uh, in within proximal segment in the distal segment it will stop only between the proximal and distal segment and that is also temporary the conduction will continue in proximal segment but will stop in distal segment in 3 to 4 days that's why there will be no conduction between proximal and distal segments it will continue in proximal will stop within 3 to 4 days of injury and there will be no conduction in between the proximal and distal segments now this is recovery full recovery is possible or full recovery will occur within few days to few weeks here as axonal regeneration will occur so no surgical treatment is required here repair will not occur so surgical treatment will be required and the last point is of emg findings electromyography findings there are no fibrillation potentials and no positive sharp waves but in this case fibrillation potentials and positive sharp waves are present emg findings and nerve conduction velocity test will show neurotomasis so this is the sudden's classification of nerve injury hit the like button share and subscribe our channel to get the latest updates and notifications